I really love shopping for fresh and locally grown food at the farmer's market, but I have a confession. Sometimes I go there, I look at some things and I say, what the heck am I going to do with this? <laughs> okay, well, I'm not an adventurous eater at all, but I am open to trying new things. Yeah. Sometimes all it takes is a little guidance. I agree, and I know the perfect person to help, a West Michigan woman who was featured on the Today Show earlier this year for her amazing talents in the kitchen. I've got my basket, my little pouch of money. I am really excited to be meeting a local food blogger. This is Liz Della Croce, and we are here at the Folk Street Farmers Market. Liz, we're on a mission today. Yes, we are. Well, I'm thrilled to be here and very excited to share my passion with you and the 8 West viewers. I love making healthy food delicious. That's what I'm all about on TheLemonBowl.com. And I thought it'd be fun for us to come today and maybe look at a few ingredients that you may not be using normally in your everyday diet and maybe look at a few ingredients you do use, but new ways to use them. Oh, I'm really excited about this. We all could use a little variety, some freshness. So Absolutely. Let's head into the market. Sounds great. I love that there are dozens of farms that sell at the market. Absolutely. Today we're at Danelle Laughlin Farms out of Belmont, Michigan, but as you know, there are so many different local farmers. We're yeah. very blessed in West Michigan to have such great local produce. So I just want to show you a couple ideas for some ingredients that my family loves and hopefully you can use them in yours. Okay, so everybody has cauliflower yeah. in the refrigerator, right? You put that in the basket. All right. Well, one of the things that I love to do is make it into a macaroni and cheese. Uh -huh. It's a great way to lower the overall calories of the dish. You add a bunch of vitamins, you add a ton of dietary fiber, and you're you know, somewhat sneaking a vegetable into your <laughs> children's meals. The kids don't have to know about that. Exactly. But you know, there's a lot of different ways to prepare cauliflower. I love it roasted in the oven. You can you know, bake it at 450 for about 25 minutes. A little olive oil, salt, and pepper. It's delicious as it is. And especially when you're getting local, fresh, seasonal ingredients, you don't have to do a lot. Mm, that is wonderful. Okay, so what else on the shopping list? Here, well, I see zucchini. Okay. And I just pretty much cut it up and we eat it <laughs> with hummus. As do I many, many times. Zucchini is really delicious in a scallion pancake. You basically grate the zucchini, and honestly, you could use any type. And you add some chopped scallions, a little bit of flour and egg, salt and pepper, and you just fry it in olive oil on each side. And I love to serve it with a sweet soy dipping sauce. Ugh. It's really tasty. A little soy, a little sugar, a little rice vinegar, and maybe some heat if you like sriracha. Mm -hmm. It's really good, and again, your kids will gobble it up. Yeah. As will picky husbands. Like <laughs> I love that. Okay, so let's load up the basket Perfect. right here with our zucchini. All right, so let's go for the exotic. I see all kinds of things at the farmer's market, and I really don't know how to use them. Okay. The Rachel, have you ever used kohlrabi? I haven't, but it looks pretty interesting. It looks like a plant. What does it taste like? <laughs> it looks like an alien. It's really delicious. It tastes like broccoli stems. It's a cross oh. between a cabbage and broccoli, and it's really delicious and easy to prepare. Uh, you can roast it, you can put it in a stir fry, but one of the ways that we love to eat it is in a grilled cheese with some cheddar, some sliced apples, and thinly sliced kohlrabi. It gives it a crunch and a bite that you might not expect, and it can really perk up a simple grilled cheese. And you sneak in a ton of vitamins, a ton of antioxidants, and obviously a lot of fiber. So. All right, I think I need a couple of those I for my so basket. Too. Well, that's wonderful. Healthy recipes, because that's your tagline, too. Healthy made delicious. You don't need to eat plain, boring food to be healthy. It really should be fun and interesting with different flavors and, you know, experiment. Don't be afraid. That's the great thing about coming to the market is every week you can find new things so that you don't get bored. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Liz. Thank For you. the inspiration, we're talking the lemon bowl with our friend Liz. 
You could tell I had a great time shopping yes. with Liz. <laughs> She's here in the studio with one of the recipes that she told us about. They all look really, really amazing. They're pretty tasty. We're just peppering <laughs> you with a bunch of questions about how to prepare some of these things in the kohlrabi. Did I say that right? Kohlrabi. That you found yesterday. Liz was actually showing us how easy it is to actually get it ready, stripped down, so that you can put it into a recipe. It is easy. And, you know, it can be intimidating seeing this at the market. Because <laughs> it looks strange. It's not exactly you're heading more towards the green beans. But kohlrabi is really delicious, full of vitamins, and I just love the crunch of it. So it's, I'm just going to quickly show you okay. how to break it down. You, you cut those alien nubs off, right? Cut off the crazy creatures, uh, cut off the, you know, the firm stem mm -hmm. at the bottom. Okay. And the other nice thing about that, you know, put your muscle into it, and then you have a flat surface so you don't hurt yourself. Oh, yeah. Less okay. wobbly on the cutting board. You know, you could use a carrot peeler or just use your knife and just quickly peel off the end okay. Okay. and just go around similar to a watermelon. And then you get into something that really looks like this and then that looks makes like it easy for you to slice then. It is. Mm -hmm. And again, just keep the flat surface bottom so you, so you don't have any injuries. But if you smell it, it smells and tastes just like broccoli stems. And I was a little bit surprised by that because uh, and the flavor of it, kind of a cross between a cabbage. Yep. Yep. And you have these slices here, so you can eat them raw and you can just dip them. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. They're really good, really crunchy. It's kind of like coleslaw. Mm -hmm. It's really good. tasty. Nice little bitterness, but not too much that it's overwhelming. Mm -hmm. You could add that in a slaw with some sliced apples or today. Mm. A salad. A salad, mm -hmm. absolutely. Or a sandwich. Or a fun grilled cheese. So. Uh, I'm going to show you my version of a grilled cheese. It adds a little bit of flavor, extra nutrition. Kohlrabi is full of vitamin C, which helps you absorb iron. Mm. And of course, vitamin C is very important for your health as well. Well, it's okay. kind of nice this time of the year because you want to be able to eat healthy but still get all those nutrients, the proteins, the iron building. Yes. That's wonderful. So you put the Dijon on, that's a little bit different flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has a little cheese. bit of spice. And you've you already know. buttered the outside of this. We should just tell people. You that butter both sides. Away. Exactly. Layer some cheese. How much cheese, Liz? Um, you know, I typically do, I sort of like to do a slice on each side. That okay. way Ooh. all the veggies on the inside <sighs> stick to the Yum. cheese and nothing nice. falls out. Mm. You can and never have too much cheese. <laughs> no, you really can't. And that's there's rule number one too. of cooking. Mm -hmm. And there's so much health in this sandwich, you don't have to feel guilty about a little butter and cheese in your lunch. Mm -hmm. So if you want to layer a little bit of apple slices, okay, here we go. there's a little story That's behind nice. apples and cheese. I grew up, that was pretty much our go-to after-school snack. Oh, nice. Protein and fiber keeps you full and slower to digest so your sugar doesn't spike. And it's a good combo together. Why? Because the, it's kind of sweet and it's a little bit of exactly. bitterness. Exactly. The, the sweetness of the apple will offset any bitterness from the kohlrabi. Isn't that great? Yeah. And, you know, and the thing is, then it gives you something healthy to to keep you bef between mm -hmm. school yeah. and lunch time to dinner, dinner is a long time to have an empty stomach mm -hmm. so yes, exactly a bit okay. of a protein and fat and all right so we put this together it's as simple as that you have your little panini press you could also just as easily do this on the griddle yeah isn't that or great in a pan could you just do it like a regular grilled cheese you know absolutely and if you didn't have a panini press just put a little tin foil on top i sometimes just take a big can and Put it on top of my sandwich and press it down that sure. way. Yeah. It's nice because you don't have to heat up the oven and you can really make sure you're keeping the house as cool as possible. Exa and it only takes a couple of minutes so your kitchen doesn't have to spend hours getting too over hot, especially this time of year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee anyone will enjoy this. You can also use whatever cheese you have on hand. With all of my recipes, don't feel committed to the specific, you know, I use sharp cheddar, you can use Gruyere, you can use Swiss, whatever your family's favorite cheese is. Right. Wonderful. Same with breads. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit with fruits and things so I think the apples will be fantastic. So tell us about the great finds at the farmer's market. We were talking a little bit about this. I know Rachel you love to shop at the farmer's yeah. market. Joy and Christine are always it's there. It's a great deal. You can find everything even these cheeses and breads. You can literally find everything meats, cheeses, milk, ice cream. Uh, you know these are a dollar a piece and from that you can get you know kohlrabi for your sandwich have some to dip in hummus later on use some in a stir fry that evening mm, you can stir. really stretch your food dollar when you shop at the farmers market and by putting your dollars into your local community you're helping support local jobs mm -hmm. it's really a win-win and last but not least 
when it is local, it tastes the best. It tastes freshest. Yeah. So you're really full of flavor. Your kids are going to eat it if it's fresh, healthy, and wasn't picked two months ago in another country. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Okay, can so Liz people? is a food blogger. Yeah. You can get more Ooh, of her recipes, learn that. more That's about tasty. her at thelemonbowl.com, including these recipes, you know, this recipe, I should say, and then the three that we talked about in the story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to have them on our website as well, so they're easy to find. I love going and looking at your website because you've got some great ideas, even for, for kids. Yeah, too. I mean, the trick to having fun with your food is to change it up and use whatever's in season. Fantastic. Wonderful. Thanks, Liz. Thanks, Thanks for, for having me. Here. We'll be right back. We've got a sandwich to eat. I know we do. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. Kohlrabi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's West.